our, uh, our first two guests give new meaning to the words television icon. Yes. For nearly a decade, you loved them as Blake and Crystal Carrington on the hit show Dynasty. Man, I love Please. that show. I watch it all the time. You do? Yeah. Please give a warm welcome to John Forsythe and Linda Evans. Yes. Television icons, you really oh, wow. are. You really, really are. Icon. I'm wondering what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Look in the mirror. <laughs> Do you guys have any poses? We're talking about uh, runway poses, or, or not runway, but red carpet poses. Do you ever strike a no. pose? Sometimes I carry you in my arms. Other than that. Yeah. <laughs> I've been carried in my arms by, by others. <laughs> <laughs> you, but, there, there's no pose, right? No. 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 There, uh, yeah, that's what I said, too. Donnie. I do. <laughs> That's your look? That's my pose. How long have you guys known each other? I think, um, I think this lady was about 15 years old when I met her first. Um, I was doing a show called Bachelor Father. Oh, yes. Ago. Yes. <laughs> and, um, I was, uh, I was part producer of the show, as well as acted in it, and I used to sit in and watch the actors when they came in uh, and, and see who was going to be in the show. Mm -hmm. And this little lady came in. She was 15 and magnificent. She was very skinny, and she, she has blossomed in all the right places. <laughs> When I first saw her again after the 15-year episode, uh, it was to play my wife in Dynasty, which was a, a far cry from what it was in the beginning. Really? But I looked at her and I said, Linda Evans, my, how you've grown. <laughs> <laughs> Linda? That was 42 years ago. Was it really? I was just yeah. going to ask you 42 that. years 42 ago. 42 years well, Linda, ago. Yeah. What, what was it about Dynasty that made it so successful, in your opinion? Well, John, <laughs> let's see. I don't know. We hope that it was the cast and the storyline, uh, but I certainly think that Nolan Miller and the clothes were oh, yes. the clothes. something the public had never seen before. Yeah. You know, they, they did amazing things. That's right. It was the romance of just having decadence everywhere. I mean, it really was. I mean, I, anything the Carringtons wanted, they had. Yeah. You know, it was it was amazing. Except was it each other. <laughs> That's right. That's a good point. That's right. Money doesn't decadent. buy happiness. So many people live vicariously through you guys, wanting that that decadence, that opulence. What what was the best part about doing that job? I think Linda. <laughs> <laughs> That's sweet. We used to play love scenes that were unmatched. Oh. Uh, in the in the bedroom, there was a the white white rug, and we would play all our love scenes. In front of the and fire. we would have champagne in front of the fireplace with the candles and everything. And we did so many takes because I wanted so many takes. <laughs> <laughs> and the wine kept flowing. The champagne. <laughs> Finally. It, it, what happened was the, uh, the crew got on to what was going on, and they were dying for the champagne that wasn't used. So every, we had to take out a new bottle every time there was something. To that pop the cut, cork. Uh, see, <laughs> cut, you know, oh. uh, that didn't work out quite well enough. We want a different way. By that time, after we had had about 18 or 20 takes, the crew was loaded. <laughs> And so they joined in? <laughs> it was a fun day. <laughs> it was a fun day. Very funny. I saw the picture up there. We, we put a picture of the three of you, including <coughs> Joan. Joan Collins, who's been on our show. She's, she's great. I was in Joseph with her. And there were all these tabloid articles about the cat fighting and the, and the, and the rumors of all kinds you of fights going on. You know how tabloids are. What, what was yeah. it like? Were, were there cat fights and all kinds of... Uh, 
Only when Problems. it was in the script. <laughs> oh, really? No cat fight between her and me. <laughs> no. no. So it was, a, it was a friendly cast. No, we were friends. I had known Joan before Dynasty. She'd been to my home in Malibu. So we were very happy for each other. We were two older women, got a great job. We were thrilled that we were doing it. We weren't yeah. competitive with each other. Right. It was, is that an issue for you when, when you see how Hollywood treats women sometimes as they get older? Do you think they're fair? I mean, incredible career you've had. I mean, you go clear back to Big Valley. Big Valley, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> the Barbara Sandwich. When, yeah. when did Big Valley start? When did you do that? 1965. Wow. And 1969. That last 65 to 65. Yeah, it was incredible to work with Great her. Great memories from that? Yeah, great memories. Amazing Barbara Stanwyck, what a beautiful woman. She was also woman. a wonderful actress yes. that was in it. Barbara Stanwyck. Barbara Stanwyck, yeah. She was a strong woman. Woman. I love her character. Yeah. Yeah. And she then came on our show, you know, which she was on our show a couple That's of right, times. That's right, on Dynasty. She used to it, watch it all the time. She'd call me up. She'd say, Audra, she still called me Audra, even after all those years. What are you doing on that show? I've been watching it. I think you ought to do this and this and this, and she'd tell me all sorts of things. Yeah. yeah. Like what? Like one thing that, do you remember one thing? or? Well, she'd talk about my makeup or my hair. She wouldn't like something. She always wanted me to have more energy. She'd say, you know what I told you about having more energy. You get a little low, you know, when we were doing Big Valley. We'd be coming through a door, and she'd get behind me, and she'd pick up her boot and kick me in the butt. And then I would just go <laughs> fly through, and she'd say, that's the energy I want you to have. That kind of startled the live look. Oh, right. yeah. my goodness. That's why. She, she was on the phone with me, too. She said, you should have more love scenes. <laughs> and, and you said? I said, take me. <laughs> You know, you talk about funny things like that on the set. What about Dynasty? Were there any funny things like that that happened on the set? Well, John, people would never suspect that this man who, you know, was so elegant, Blake Carrington, and so serious, we'd be doing a scene, there'd be the whole cast, and we'd be in our long gowns and jewels. He'd be in a tuxedo, and I'd have these long, dangling diamond earrings, and he'd get bored, and the press would come on, and we'd have to wait for everyone to do their take. So John would take my earrings off and put them on him. And he'd have these long chandelier diamond earrings on, and the press would just look at him. Like, he'd walk around as if it was totally natural. Really? <laughs> I would have loved to have seen that one. That's funny. When we come back from a commercial break, I want to ask you how you got, how you got the voice of Charlie in Charlie's Angel. Plus, uh, I want to ask you about this new project, Linda, that you're in, uh, Rejuvenique. Yes. So when we come back from commercial break, We'll be back with Linda Evans and John Forsythe right after this. Stay right there. Welcome back. We're here with Linda Evans really? and John Forsythe. I want to ask you, you how did you get the job to be the voice of Charlie and Charlie's Angels? By accident. I was, I was at home, it was about 12.30 or 1 o'clock in the morning, and I was reading a book. I don't know what I was doing reading at that hour, but uh, that's all I was doing. And, uh, <laughs> and the phone yeah, rang. Right. <laughs> You're doing all those, not, those scenes with the Linda, The phone right? rang at 12.30 or 1 o'clock in the morning, and I said, who the devil can that be? And so I picked up the phone and I said, yeah. And Aaron Spelling he said, Hi, John, this is Aaron. I said, Aaron who? <laughs> he said, Spelling, Spelling. I said, Oh, oh. And I said, uh, what's, what, what, what's up? He said, I need you. I need you very badly. Something very, very important. <laughs> 12, I said, 30? I said, Are you in prison? Or? <laughs> I said, what, what, what's up? He said, well, we've had a fellow with doing a show called Charlie's Angels, and it has to be at ABC in New York on Monday, and now it's Friday night, and what we're going to do is get it out, and, and uh, we think it's going to be a, a terrific show. And I said, well, that's wonderful, but uh, what, what, what am I going to do? He said, the man who was going to play your part is drunk and he was serious you know 
he said he, he was drinking and uh, he can't do it. And then we thought, and I said, uh, I'd love to have John do it. And I said, well, God, it's one o'clock in the morning. He said, do me a favor, will you please? Come on over and uh, we'll make it as fast as we can. So I said, okay, okay. So I still had pajamas on. <laughs> I put a, a trench coat on over my pajamas and, and, then, and uh, got in my great? car at one o'clock in the morning and went down to 20th Century And you Fox. had no idea what the part was? You had no idea who Charlie was? No, but did? I knew Aaron, we'd worked together right, right. so often. So when they told you that you were just going to be a voice, how did that make you feel? Well, I thought it was an interesting idea, mm -hmm. but I didn't know about it until after we did the show. I didn't know there was just going to be a disembodied voice. Well, and didn't now, with the new movie that's coming out... It was Cameron Diaz, Drew Barrymore, and, and Lucy Liu. Lucy Liu. You're the, on, the, original, the only original person that that's came right. from Charlie's Angels. That's the great. The voice of Charlie. <laughs> when, when is that out? November? It's coming out this fall? It's going to be out late. Late this year, Late this I would year? think, yes. I think That's going to be fun. Yeah. It's got three lovely ladies, Drew Barrymore, Cameron Diaz, and Lucy Liu. Yeah. Great I can hardly cast. wait. That's going to be fun. Yeah. Now, tell us about this uh, reju re rejuvenique. 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 What is rejuvenique, Linda? Rejuvenique is the answer to every woman's prayer over 40. <laughs> Why is that? It is a... <laughs> it is a face mask. That women can, can you cover use. Up your face? No, it's a it's a mask that women can use that has oh. electro pulsations, Look at electric. This. Um, that looks scary. No, it's not scary. It's, it's painless. It's gentle. What does it do? It tightens and tones the face, and um, and it so it has a mild electrical pulsation. This mask wow. you can have in the privacy of your own home. It actually. Uh, changes the texture of your skin. I mean, your skin comes alive. It gets rosy. It just, it's a magnificent thing. You want to look like Linda Evans, get one of these things. <laughs> it's $199. $199. Right. Where, where do you get these? You can get them in a million different stores, okay. depending on what so part of the country the that they're, it's all over the place. Right. And you can call up, they have it on the infomercial. But you know, women are living to be 86 to 92 years of age. Right. And now that's 52 years after 40. This is such a blessing. Can men use it? Yes, men. All the wives that we did, I did a test with uh, a lot of women with it. When the husband started seeing the results, they asked the wives to use it. It works on men or on women. It's, you think about it. You work out your body, you take care of your body. What do you do for your face? I gotta go get one. That's very true. What do you do for oh, your I face? Oh, I can't wait to get a picture of you doing it. <laughs> <laughs> we should we, do both of us together. We don't suggest that you drive with it or go to the bank with it. Other okay. than that, you can use it anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Fascinating. You guys, it is really a beautiful, beautiful thank thing. Thank you so much for being oh, here. Um, I'll tell you about it later. Charlie's Angels it. out uh, November, I think, somewhere around somewhere there. Somewhere around there. there. Thank you. Rejuvenique in stores everywhere. I gotta get one of these. You got one. I gave you both. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice to see you. Thank you. John Forsythe, Linda Evans. Thank you, guys. Just stay right there. We'll be right back right after this.